Insurance lovers, bonjour. This is Clemence, and today we're talking about Electimus, another great fragrance brand I want you to discover. I want to tell you what I think, uh, what you can shop over there, what to expect about this brand, if it's good for you or not, and uh, which fragrance I love from this brand. Voilà. I take your little coffee. Me, I took my cover. <laughs> So Electimus is a niche fragrance brand that I discovered not too long ago, actually. If you want something ultra long lasting, ultra projecting, you like nice quality of ingredient, of course. You want something luxurious because the price point is, you know, luxurious product. I will tell you about that. So Electimus in Latin means to choose the best sets the film. Okay. <laughs> it's a brand that is based in London. Uh, and it's inspired by the ancient Rome because Romans were obsessed with perfume and they had many rituals that are related to this. I love when a brand has a clear inspiration. I think it's, you get more attached to the brand. I don't know. So basically all the fragrances are meant to be very uh, daring, opulent, very decadent. They work with really talented perfumer. You have Julien Raskinet, for example, to give you some name, uh, Christian Provenzano, uh, sorry if I pronounce this uh, really bad. Sofia Bandelli, for example. So there's a lot of great name and great perfumer, which is reassuring. Technically, it's not always uh, telling you that you're going to get qualitative products. But for me, it's already really reassuring because the guys, you know, they know what they're doing. Actually, quite a recent brand because it's been founded in 2015. So to tell you quickly, you have few collections if you want to explore. Uh, uh, if you want to explore Electimus, you have the Nero collection. That is basically five fragrances that are very decadent related to a uh, pleasure. The fragrance is around like uh, 225 uh, for 100 milliliters. So see, it's luxurious prices. For me, to be honest, I think it deserves it. Like I, I, I can't complain about my Electimus fragrance, but I will tell you that after. So the Eternal collection that is a little bit uh, cheaper in price is 175 per 100 milliliters. Uh, it's about finding a thing uh, in life, basically, a more transparent glass bottle. Uh, you have the Consort Collection. Uh, this one, it's just two fragrances and it's all about patchouli. That I will tell you about. If you like patchouli, you're going to love Electimus. Mm. Lustrous Collection. These are the Frosted Bottle. It's very radiant, shy, and it's all about uh, the constellation, the star, etc. The Emperor Collection, that's the more luxurious collection, the most opulent. This one is 395 per 100 meters, so very high point. But uh, wow, you get the finest ingredient and you get uh, ingredients that are usually very rare. And, uh, and I can confirm to you that it's true. Okay, so if you discover the brand, these are my favorites. These are the ones I would go to if I was you. <laughs> My number 10 is Vic Serre. Something that is delicate, which is actually quite rare in, rare in Electimus because the fragrances are usually like beasts. It doesn't mean it doesn't last long because they're very long lasting still, but this is like a powdery citrus with violet. It's nearly like you take a lipstick fragrance, you know, and you put some citrus on it. For me, it does have a textile aspect. I feel like something like quite satin, like I really like it. I would love to wear that, like for example, during summer or a nice versatile fragrance for daytime. It's also like quite sensual because of the iris. It's very musky and you have a lot of orange blossom. For me, Vic Serre is a great choice if you like something mm, maybe a bit feminine, but for me, it's still unisex, but you know what I mean. And if you enjoy something that is a little bit more delicate and sensual, you might enjoy that. If you're not too much into the strong earthy fragrance, this is a good one to start. My next one is Aquila Absolute. So um, first of all, let's have a look at this gorgeous bottle. I've been to the launch event, so uh, they engraved it with my name. And I have to say it's <laughs> the special treat, guys, is absolutely divine. It's actually open with like raspberries, cardamom, geranium, violet leaf. So basically it's more or, or less like a, a very fruity, a fragrance. But let me tell you something about this scent. It's not your usual fruity at all. It's extremely strong. And I don't know why in a lot of Electimus, I can feel something slightly leathery, charismatic fruity. For me, it does have like something that is a little bit um, captivating, a bit mesmerizing, but also uh, dark. You know, there's something like tenebrous. Can you say that? Ten tenebrous? So the violet leaf gives something a little bit smoother to the composition. It's incredible because it still stays a radiant like constellation and very fresh. I'm losing my voice. 
Oh my god, what's happening? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, gladiator hood. So uh, this is for the hood lovers, huh? uh, uh, definitely. But uh, you have to love some earthy tone with gladiator hood. You really smell a bit that animalic tone in there. You smell something very primitive. And again, this primitive touch feels a bit leathery to me. The greenness and the earthiness of the immortal. There's this earthy hay, you know, like smoky grass that you can smell, it's slightly honeyed enveloping. So it's a very interesting uh, wood, actually, quite earthy, quite green, with something slightly like uh, sweeter at the end. It's not sweet at all, but you see what I mean. You need to like cumin. Cumin is a very different Difficult in green uh, spices to like for some people so I'm just telling you you need to like cumin if you do like that kind of spice you might enjoy that but this is this is oh my god like this is a nuclear bomb again <laughs> we're gonna talk about patchouli Electimus does really great earthy scent and the patchouli is not the sweet patchouli for example that you will smell in Thierry Mugler's fragrance that are very gourmand that are usually mixed with lots of caramel and it makes you feel like you want to eat it. No, it's not that kind of patchouli. It's more like a patchouli that is natural to me. So it feels earthy, it feels dry. Persephone patchouli. I can't tell you how much I love this patchouli. For me, this is a proper patchouli scent. It does have something a bit plummy. So when you smell it, because of the plum, for me, there's something a little bit... Um, Slightly boozy, but not too much. It smells very wet. It's nearly like uh, it's been raining on the floor and you have that smell. You see what I mean? It's honey, you have a bit of rose, but the rose is just coming out like this. It's really focused on that patchouli, but a patchouli that is not heady. When you smell a, a earthy vetiver, you think about something a bit that smells a bit like dirt. And this really is surprisingly very clean. It's definitely for the people that, um, that are nerds in fragrance, you know? Like, you're gonna love that. Very detailed, very clean, and at the same time, you can smell how complex the fragrance is. If you like Straight to Heaven, you're gonna love this, and I actually feel it's a little bit more wearable than uh, Straight to Heaven. Patchouli of the Underworld. So you're gonna say, so what's the difference between the other patchouli? There's something a little bit primitive to it because there's castorium. So you smell a bit more the animal, uh, but not too much, don't worry. And it's more leathery, the labdamum is more present. So basically for me, uh, Persephone patchouli is more like a delicate, clean patchouli. And this is the, the patchouli. <laughs> voilà, the patchouli. Five is Trajan. I am actually surprised I'm putting Trajan here. So I've got this set here that is really nice. Uh, they do a lot of sets, by the way, on the website, if you ever want to try. And by the way, just to let you know, Electimus is one of the brands that you enjoy with the time. You need to spend time with the fragrance because they're very complex and they change a lot. They move with you because for me, it's really high quality fragrance here. And I think you definitely need, there's no blind buy here. Well, with me, there's never blind buy anyway. This is not safe here uh, because they are very creative uh, thing. So uh, I've got this set oh, with the packaging, always beautiful uh, with Electimus. Uh, and you have uh, this travel that is very heavy. And I didn't tell you actually about the bottles, but they are heavy. You know, like it's a weapon. If you have an issue one day, you put that in your handbag. <laughs> I even use one bottle of uh, Marcaria Kalschmier as my decoration in my living room to tell you. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Um, and the travel is even beautiful as well. I love the details. It's heavy, it's metallic like this. So it's very qualitative. And I have to say, Trajan is incredible. Makes me really think of the saffron-like Baccarat Rouge type of fragrance. You're gonna smell Trajan, you're gonna think of that fragrance. It smells more fruity though. You have more blood orange, the saffron, it's a bomb of saffron. So you directly think of that caramelized burnt sugar smell. A lot of ambery, so it dies a little bit more ambery. But I would say, I love this fragrance because it's full on quality. But compare, for example, to Baccarat Rouge, uh, you smell more the mandarin and the citrus note. So it has something balance very balanced with the French at the beginning it's gorgeous I love the blood orange in there it's, it's very heady very sexy but the balance is incredible this one is Imperium so again I, I had like a recent crush on that because I was re-smelling the fragrance obviously like for the video it's like oh my god I forgot how much I like this it's like a fresh aromatic quite leathery in the background like but very tiny like a bit 
slightly animalic. You know, I can feel it like a very in the background and it's a bright bergamot. So if you like like this citrus that feels very green, you're going to love that. It's a striking, striking citrus, a bit green. And then you have lily and tuberose. I can smell more the lily on this one. It's not like a creamy, creamy white floor. It's more like a green white floral to me. And lily smell a bit green always. When you wait a little bit and when you wear it during the day, it feels like a fresh vanilla fragrance. And I love that. It's very uplifting very charismatic <laughs> i have to say and very powerful but office fragrance i feel bus lady when i wear that because it's fresh for daytime but there's something that is full on with character i absolutely love that number three is vichy leather uh if you follow my channel you know that leather is always a bit complicated to me because i don't i don't really know where to wear it i had a massive crush for vichy leather uh, this is a leather like I always would like to smell forever. <laughs> it's a very balsamic one and there's um, warm wood. And warm moon, it's, it's like fiery. It's like you've been burning a bit some grass or some wood. It's nearly like they've put a little bit of brown sugar on top of the fragrance. That's what it smells to me. Very resinous, like mystical. For some people, it might remind you maybe of something a bit churchy. Not too much, but it does. Uh, I feel like... Um, like a vamp when I'm wearing this. It's one of the best leather I've ever smelled. Bewitching. It's mesmerizing. I, I, I had a huge crush for this fragrance and, and again, it's an absolute nuclear bomb. Huh? All of them. Like you wear this, one or two spray, I don't need more. Huh? And usually I overspray. Huh? I don't need more. Like I'm crossing the, the room and everyone is like, oh my God. So right now I spray a lot of fragrance, trust me. My nose is full, like the room is full, <laughs> full of scent. And it's not all the time that this happened. The last, uh, the last review I did like this for a brand was BDK. And uh, it didn't smell like this after in my room. It doesn't matter because BDK is more like classic, chic, uh, you know, uh, everyday routine to me. But this is intense, guy. This is character. This is powerful. Yes, you feel like a gladiator when you wear an Electimus. <laughs> next one it happened the crush the crush happened when i was re-smelling the fragrance for this video amber aquilaria i love amber fragrance i always loved amber fragrance it gave me that oriental beauty mystical charm that i always love uh, and i have shitloads of amber <laughs> and this is very different and this is when you get me surprised like it's it's great because with all the fragrance that you have and probably that that i have and probably that you have it's difficult to get a surprise well this fragrance got me surprised so what you can smell at the beginning is a fresh bright bergamot vibe so again the green citrus but this one is not too striking and you can smell cognac a warm cognac cocktail like a dry cognac that you have in the bar uh, wearing your favorite turtleneck serious vibe you see <laughs> I smell the ambergris as well that is there, vanilla, lots of vanilla, oud, but a not difficult oud. I feel that the oud in this fragrance is not animalic, it's there like a dry backbone to give structure to your fragrance and give a bit more intensity to it. Very rubbery. Oh my god, I'm in love. Do you know what? Like, I like, I... I um, Oh, like, I know which, which is gonna be my next one, okay? Because this is incredible. Serious but extremely charismatic no, you know? Um, oh my god, and this vanilla, it's sweet, rubbery, but, but not too much at the same time. Oh, it's perfect. I, I absolutely love that. For me, masterpiece calling. Tip, masterpiece, masterpiece. I am absolutely in love. This so one, my first choice is gonna be a mercurial cashmere. Compared to, uh, for example, amber and the fragrance that I showed you before, it's one of the most approachable of the collection. If you start your journey in Electimus, you want to discover the brand, I highly recommend you to try this one. Something that is very easy to wear, actually. It's still quite strong and long-lasting, but and quite unique, but it's super easy to wear. Uh, advised it to some people that wasn't really into uh, niche perfumes and I love this one. A lot of caramel and a lot of tuberose. So a creamy, creamy white floral, very smooth composition. 
and you get iris that gives even more smoother, maybe powdery composition and cashmere. Really like a velvety dress. This is for me a perfect dinner day fragrance because it doesn't project too much. It's not excessive, but it gives something extremely sophisticated very sensual. When I want some comfort and to feel cozy as well, I wear it. When I'm going to a dinner date and I want to feel sensual but still very classy, I wear it. This is a beauty. Voilà guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, uh, to resume, uh, Electimus is great quality of fragrance, extremely powerful. And it's not just only me that is saying it, okay? Um, they also create a statement. They're statement fragrance to me. Most of them, like, is, is not here to joke. It's very different, it's very creative. But if you are looking for something unique and gonna make you feel beautiful and charismatic, I love the brand. Voila! Um, I'm sorry I was maybe like a little bit more down in this video. Um, I, uh, uh, since like, uh, Two or three days, I feel very strange. <laughs> um, I've got like, um, I think it's kidney problem because uh, again, <laughs> I think it's coming back, <laughs> amazing. And so I was out of this for a moment, but you know, those kind of thing with kidney, they always come back. So um, I'm, I'm a bit in pain, you know, like I have like back problem because it's obviously like it's there, like in, in the back. And, uh, and it's putting me down uh, seriously, like I feel really tired. Today I woke up at 10. I didn't wake up at 10 since years. Like I wake up at 5 or 6, like I feel exhausted doing nothing. And I know it's not really me, I know it's like uh, usually the symptoms when uh, my kidney is uh, draining me uh, because I have like uh, malformation in my kidney. So uh, mm -hmm. I hope it's not going to be like two years ago because uh, I don't have the shoulder to do that again. <laughs> Uh, I know it's gonna happen one day or another, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want it now, you know. I was feeling much better those weeks, so <laughs> those months, so you know. Uh, so I'm sorry, I was a bit, uh, you know, like uh, well, I'm trying my best, but that's why I was sitting and I'm with my covers because I, I feel a bit feverish as well. So uh, hopefully this was gonna go. Anyway, my brother is coming tomorrow uh, to London, so uh, this is gonna cheer me up, and we we gonna, I'm gonna try to push myself to do stuff. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you're well. I wish you a lovely day. Me, I'm gonna have a little nap. Oh no, actually, I need to clean the house. Oh. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye now.